Hi guys, this is Suzanne with Sweet Tea and Wind. Join me today as I share with you a very quick haul. This haul is a combination of one thing that I found from an estate sale and two items that I found from a local consignment shop. So I'm excited about these few items and I know you will be too. So let's get started with now the you video. You guys know that I love old quilts. I have a collection of old quilts. I have a weakness for old quilts. I've tried to sew and make quilts and I'm still learning that because it takes a lot of talent and skill to uh, quilt a blanket, but I'm working on that. So at today's estate sale, when we got there at the opening time, there were hundreds upon hundreds of people already in this house. So when we were allowed in, you could barely look around. Uh, it was just too crowded. So I scurried through real quickly, bumping shoulders with everybody. And I, I could not take that many people in there at one time. So I uh, went upstairs to the bedroom and I found this beautiful old quilt and we left. My mother-in-law found several things that she left with and I'm hoping to be able to go back tomorrow because tomorrow is day two of the estate sale and everything's half price. So for today's purchase at the estate sale, I was able to get this quilt for $20 and I want you to see it. I love it. Look at this beautiful quilt. Is this thing gorgeous or what? Look at this. I'm in love with this. Look at all of the different colors. I want you to see that the back is this beautiful pink color and you can see all of the hand stitching here on the back. This is a close up of the front side. So what drew me to this quilt? There were a lot of old quilts and you, women were basically trying to take them out of your hands as you looked for them, looked at them. So. I didn't want to fight anybody for a quilt, so this happened to be probably the second or third one that I looked at real quick, and I grabbed it and ran on back downstairs, but I love the colors. I don't know what the name of this quilt pattern is, but look, it's made up of many, many small pieces. If you know the name of this quilt pattern, please share it in the comments below. Here's one more look at the quilt. Look at this pink and white gingham. I love it. So this I paid $20 for and I am just tickled pink to have found it, to be able to add this to my collection. I have no idea who quilted it. I don't know the history of it. I just know that this was a talented quilter and this took a long time to quilt. So because of that, it is a treasure to me. Okay, at the um, consignment store, I found another treasure. A lot of you know that I collect quilt tops, which are the front sides of quilts that are unfinished. They haven't been put together uh, and quilted yet. I found this quilt top. Oh, I love it. And I don't know what to call it other than a butterfly pattern, but if you know the official name of this quilt pattern, please let me know. I paid $10 for this quilt top. And here's a close up. Look at all the little quilted squares. All the different butterflies. The hand stitching. Look on the back side of this guys. The hand stitching shows so beautifully, even on the back side. So another close up. Look at that. This is absolutely 
gorgeous. Now, what do I do with all of my quilt tops? Well, first of all, I just put them on display on an old ladder. A lot of them, I use them sometimes um, as bed runners or even uh, as a tablecloth. And I'm hoping that one day when I get really good at quilting, some of these I will be able to finish and have a complete quilted blanket. So this was my $10 treasure that I absolutely love. Again, I don't know the history, but I know that someone put a lot of time, many hours of love into cutting all of these squares, piecing them together, and hand stitching all of these butterflies onto this quilt top. So, you know guys, this is a treasure to me. So, I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. The last item that I found at the consignment store is a little bit unusual, but you'll see why I love it. This one booth had um, sample granite and Corian uh, samples. And let's see, uh, this one says quartz. This one doesn't say anything on the bottom. And this one, as you can see, I'll just start with this one. They were $3 each. This is a pretty large size. And there are little feet on the bottom. So what I'm planning to use this for is for serving cheese and crackers or a dip and some serving utensils. There's so many versatile things that you can do with this sample uh, granite or stone or whatever official name of this we, we need to call it. I'm not but sure. I love this. And there are two more. This was $3. These were also $3. And again, they have little feet on the back of them. And I think they will be so pretty used as a riser or to serve crackers and cheese on, uh, little um, things of dip. I just love this. So these three, they're very heavy. I purchased for $3 each. That is all that I purchased at the estate sale in the consignment shop. We did stop by a couple of other estate sales and yard sales and we had no luck. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So these are my treasures from today and, and I hope you enjoyed this haul, but hold on just one moment. Did I mention to you that I love these? Ah, score, score. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. See you next time.